When I was growing up, there was this statement, I think it was Pascal, he said, you know, all of man's problems arise because he cannot sit by himself in a room for 30 minutes alone. It's very true, I always needed to be stimulated. And when I was a kid, I used to try and overclock my brain, be like, how many thoughts can I think at once? The answer is only one, but I would try to like, think multiple thoughts at once. And I was proud that my brain was always running, this engine was always moving. And it's a disease. It's actually the road to misery. And now that I'm older, I realize that you actually want to rest your mind. You want to learn how to settle into your mind. And now, I look forward to solitary confinement. And that is a superpower that I think everybody can attain. The superpower of learning to be alone and enjoying it. I think it's critical, and I do think that these times where you just think about things, just be alone and think about things, are so rare these days. During those rare times is when you really get to understand what you actually believe or don't believe. All it is is the art of doing nothing. And it's important because I think when we grow up, all this stuff happening to you in your life, and some of it you're processing, some of it you're absorbing, and some of it you should probably think a little bit more about and work through, but you don't. You don't have time. So it gets buried in you, and it's all these preferences and judgments and unresolved situations and issues. And it's like your email inbox. It's just piling up, email after email after email that's not answered, going back 10, 20, 30, 40 years. And then when you sit down to meditate, those emails start coming back at you. Hey, what about this issue? What about that issue? Have you solved this? Did you think about that? You have regrets there? You have issues there? And that gets scary. People don't want to do that. It's like, it's not working. I can't clear my mind. I better get up and not do this. But really what's happening is it's self-therapy. It's just that instead of paying a therapist to sit there and listen to you, you're listening to yourself. And you just have to sit there as those emails go through one by one. You work through each of them until you get to the magical inbox zero. And there comes a day when you sit down, you realize the only things you're thinking about are things that happened yesterday because you've processed everything else, not necessarily even resolved it, but at least listened to yourself. And that's when meditation starts. It's a very powerful thing that everybody should experience. And that's when you arrive upon the art of doing nothing. It is literally the art of doing nothing. All you need to do for meditation is just sit down, close your eyes, comfortable position, whatever happens, happens. If you think, you think. If you don't think, you don't think. Don't put effort into it. Don't put effort against it. It's all you need. Because when you're really meditating, you're not there. When there's no thoughts, there's no experience, or there's nothing. My own experience, and this is just personal experience, is the place where I end up the most that is really the one that I want to be at is peace. It's just peace.